Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're in Honkai Star Wheel today, and we are doing part 3 of The Devil in Velvet. I'm having to do it in 10 minute videos because um, I don't want them to be too long, so anyway, let's get going. Burning forms the entire life of a fire. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children and... Just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, I don't blame them. But my flames are faint, and time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. Before that, I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. shall indeed remain here, bound to fight the decisive battle to death, for I choose this. Destruction is intense, but this, to cravenly claim to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called Possible. It's really something that is yet to happen. <sighs> All right. I accept. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of law. Bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Yeah, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard, not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose. Perhaps out of reciprocity. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. My time. She's got a weird relationship with this. I've seen Delron. many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. Hunter, I guess, Sam. They can never cover up who a person really is. 
And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... Why? <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why... Rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... I know who is inside that cold armor. <gasps> How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help. But I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next then? The Trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That said, before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. I knew it. Hang on. I... Don't. Don't what? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? Okay, guys, uh, we're almost out of time, so thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!